Hello, I'm Mr. David Saffin. It's Tom Fitzsimmons. Welcome to my office. This is a Fitz vlog. I'm back at St. Vincent College, and what I've decided to do is work more with other filmmakers, other creators. This is gonna be Safin's office vlog today, and we're about to start this nonsense. I wanted to incorporate Mr. Safin because he was someone that inspired me to start doing videography and study this crazy realm and start hopping into Premiere and doing all these fun things. So I wanted to ask him a few quick, interesting questions about his office, how it came to be, and what's up in there. Now, I don't want to just choose any conventional way to get into Mr. Saffin's office. I am actually going to try up through prep hall to jump right into his office. You would think trying to get into a professor's office would be easier to do a cool video, but I think he's out for lunch or something. So I just Hello. ran. Oh, you go first. Hold. What? Okay. Hi. <laughs> My name is Michael. This is that's Tom right there. People know me as the guy who looks sad. See, Michael is one of Mr. Safin's best students. This guy is a crazy good videographer and editor. And I'm waiting here in the hallway and I run into one of these dudes. And um, yeah, we're, we're still waiting for Safin. Yeah, I came to talk to him about internships, but he's gone, so looks like I'm out of luck. So I ended up not waiting in the hallway anymore for Mr. Saffin. I, it's just, it's just taking way too long. So I found another one of my classmates that knew Mr. Saffin too, and this is a message to old Saff. Saffin, where are you at? Saffin, where are you at? So I am with Mr. Safin, okay. the man, the myth, the videographer. Oh, that's I like it. <laughs> I like it. So Mr. Safin, we, we know each other. We um, do. Very he's well. been my professor. This would be year number four. Yeah. Year number four. And basically what's gone down is this guy, he wanted me to make a little video of his office. Done that. Check. Trailer in the it's in the record books. <laughs> talk about what I was mentioning this morning with Mr. Safin, like where he got the uh, kind of the inspiration of this office. Um, what's the deal with the aesthetic? Him as a videographer, a filmmaker, where it all started. And I kind of want to just break it down for you guys because this guy inspired me. He showed me premiere. He inspired me to You're begin. Kind. You're too kind. I'm just, I'm just saying this dude showed me what it was meant to be a videographer. And I remember the first time I made a, like an L cut and a J cut, I was like, I feel like God. And that was, and that, and that was it. I'm, ser I'm serious, it was it. No, but um, it, just like, it, what, what, what inspired the aesthetic here? Like th this is kind of like the interesting thing. Like what, like what inspired all of this? Like right here, all this interesting stuff, posters, you got all this fascinating stuff we saw in the trailer. Like, where did it come from? Tell me about the gray. What's the deal with the gray? Well, um, this is the first office that I've had here. This is my sixth office, but this is the first time that I really took ownership of the aesthetic. And um, I actually got to pick the paint color. And a lot of people gave me grief when I chose this color of gray, because you have all these colors to pick from and you chose gray. But when you look at technology, if you look at all of my old cameras or monitors or VCRs or desks or Mac computers, they're all different shades of gray. And so once I, sort of introduced the tech into the room, the gray just felt natural. It felt like I was at home. Mm. It's like I'm inside a camera in here. 
So inside a camera, what do you mean by that? I don't know, I, I feel like I've spent most of my life inside a camera. I mean, one of the things that, that happened to me when I was a kid was that my dad um, recorded almost all of my childhood activities with a video camera. So I really do feel like I was raised in front of a camera. And then when I got to high school and into college, I really was interested in using cameras. So I really do feel like cameras have been an important part of my life. So like, tell me about some of these cameras. Like, what is the deal with all these? Like, how how old are these? Like, are they in like chronological order? No, um, they're, the order they're in is just based on size. So I created sort of a, an arc here. Um, the oldest one is here. Uh, the newest one is here. Um, these, with the exception of this studio camera, these are all cameras that I've used. Um, it, what is that? Break break this camera this. down. Break this camera down for the plebeian students that are usually well, this, shooting off iPhones. Nowadays. Well, this this is a studio camera, which means it doesn't have a recording device on it. There's no place where you would put a tape or a memory card that you would have liked to Tom. So yeah, the future of videography. What does that mean to you? Uh, I think it means a couple of things. One is that things that used to be really hard are getting easier. I think things are getting more automated. I think that you're seeing a lot of remote control pans and tilts where things are a lot more smooth. Um, I think that software is becoming a lot more user-friendly and accessible, which means it's putting video and high-quality video capabilities in the hands of everybody. Um, like this. Just like this, just like what you're watching. But two, and it's also what we're doing here, is that distribution is changing. That you don't need um, sort of a tastemaker to approve of your video to get it out to the world. You can just make something like you do, put it up online, and let, let the world decide if it's good or not. And I think that also is making things a lot more fair. Want to go see the Mac Lab? Let's do it. Follow me. This is the Mac Lab. As you can see this year, all brand new gear. Uh, new hardware, new software, new layout, uh, new projection, new sound system. It's, it's done up the way it's supposed to be. Do you remember when I was kind of annoyed because we had an old Mac lab? Yeah. And how, how do, what, do you, what do you say to the future students that are like, hey man, let's like... Well, know. I would say in six years, the Tom of that year will be complaining about these computers. And I'll say, hey, if you stay, stick around long enough, they'll get updated. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. Was, I'm tired. Yeah, no, this, this, was, this was pretty awesome. This was, we got to see this office and the Mac lab. So that's a two for one, guys. This is a little bit extra, but I'm hoping you guys kind of enjoyed this. Um, Mr. Saf and everybody, this man, this myth, this videographer. Please like and subscribe. Watch out, guys. Watch out for next week. Another video is coming on. Um, I'm not really sure what's going to happen, but it's going to be something fun and interesting. Um, go ahead and search St. Vincent Communication Department on Facebook. Give us a like and a follow if you have the chance. And uh, yeah, see you next time. Thomas Fitzsimmons are written all over it.